Continuing with the endocrine system, let's look for a moment at the pineal gland. Now, this is also called the pineal body. That is the same thing. But the pineal gland is located up in the brain. If you look at one of the previous pictures we've shown before, that is where you'll find it. So this is also part of the nervous system. This is what people will sometimes call the biological clock of the brain. It determines when major events start and stop. All that's probably discussed with the nervous system chapter. But the pineal gland also belongs to the endocrine system because it produces the hormone melatonin. Here's one of those chemical signals you may have heard of before. It helps to regulate sleep and wake cycles. And not so much your day to day, but more how it might change year to year. Here's how this melatonin is working. It's thought that your eyes are somehow connected to this part of the brain. And this part of the brain is monitoring what's called photo period. That's a fancy way of saying how many daylight hours did you have in the day? So here's how it works. Everybody knows as you move towards the fall and the winter, the days get shorter. Well, as the days get shorter, more of this melatonin is released. Think of melatonin as something that mellows somebody out. In other words, slows them down. So this tends to make an individual less active. It makes sense that this would happen in the fall and winter. There's less for animals to eat. They need to be less active at that time or they probably end up burning up all their stored energy and starving to death. But at the same time, it tends to slow an individual down. It also inhibits reproductive cycles. Think about why this is. The fall and winter be a very bad time for animals to be having offspring. The little tiny baby animals would probably freeze in the winter because they're so small and starve to death because there wouldn't be much of anything to eat. So that's why it inhibits the reproductive cycle. But then as you move from fall and winter into spring and summer, of course, the days get longer. At this time, less of the melatonin is released. So the individual is not mellowed out. They're going to be more active at this time. Spring and summer, there's a lot more to eat. You would expect the animals to be more active at this time, eating, doing whatever it is they need to do to store up energy for the next winter. Also, since the melatonin is not there, reproductive cycles are not being inhibited. So this is why most animals reproduce at this time. Reproduction in the spring and summer is the best time for it. It's warming up. Individuals are more likely to survive as far as the young ones, and there'll be plenty for them to eat. But you don't see melatonin working much with humans anymore. The reason being, we have artificial light. So we probably keep this gland all confused. We can turn the light on any time that we want. And we probably keep it somewhat constant for the most part as to how late we're staying up. And of course, there will be, always be light, as, light around us at those times. But if we were still dependent on just the sun for our light, we'd probably still be working. In addition, the pineal gland, we'll just briefly mention the thymus gland. Now, this gland is a much bigger part of the lymphatic system, so it'll be discussed more in that chapter there. But since it does have one hormone, thymosin, that works to develop the immune system. And that's why it's put into this chapter right here also. Okay? There's information on my books at the end if you need any of that.